Hi, I'm John Visser. I'm the president and founder of the Learning Development Institute. I'm also the former director of Learning Without Frontiers, a worldwide program that was run during the last decade of the past century by UNESCO, the United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization. I'm the kind of person who is permanently in the habit of transgressing boundaries. I like to explore the world from different perspectives. To give you an example, I started out in my professional life as a theoretical physicist and eventually ended up being a researcher of human learning in, and of how we build our mind, particularly the scientific mind. Besides, I'm a Volker, a musician of classical music. I build musical instruments, write, meditate, love nature, poetry and sculpture. I'd like to get involved in serious discussions. I hate small talk. My work as director of UNESCO's Learning Without Frontiers came to an end in the beginning of the year 2000. It continued in a different context, that of the Learning Development Institute, which was founded in 1999. In the more than 20 years of the existence of the Institute, our research has initially focused on clarifying the rich meaning of learning, both at individual and social level. It has led to a proposed def redefinition of learning that guides our work. A second important area of research, is, which lasted more than 10 years, has focused on mapping the complexity of the scientific mind and ident identifying the conditions that favor its building and growth. Starting in 2016, we initiated our most important program of exploration research, reflection and development, which focuses on human learning in the Anthropocene. It is the most daunting task we have ever taken on because of the magnitude and seriousness of the problems we are facing. As you're probably aware, the epoch in which we live has been named by Nobel laureate Paul Crutzen the Anthropocene. Greek word anthropos means human. Anthropocene is thus the age in which humans are dominant in determining the fate of our planet. That means that the quality of our stewardship of the planet at this time is essential for our survival. More and more people are cognitive aware of the dangers we are facing, yet it's not felt in the flesh. It's not a lived reality for them, not yet. Given the urgency of the situation, our new program on human learning in the Anthropocene aims at changing that. We know that it won't be easy. In almost all areas, the challenges posed by the Anthropocene are bigger than any challenge humanity has faced so far. So don't be surprised that it has our adrenaline running. The conditions of the Anthropocene are fascinatingly complex. Virtually everything depends on everything and no problem can be tackled in isolation. At the same time, they are rapidly reaching the limits of what the world system can endure. It. Jeffrey Sachs, in, in his 2007 Wreath Lectures um, for the BBC, called our world correctly a world that is bursting at the seams. Remember that we humans are mere species among many. But as a species, we have outgrown the size and resources of our tiny planet. You may not realize it, but if you walk a mere 20 kilometers a day, as I've done for the past almost 30 years, it takes you only five and a half years to walk around the Earth. So small is our planet. Yet we're almost 8 billion people poisoning its atmosphere and extracting resources at a rate that by far outpaces the capacity for renewal. We must dramatically and fundamentally change our way of being in the world if we and the species with which we share our planet uh, are to survive. We must be quick, otherwise it's too late. The kind of learning we'll be just focusing on uh, will be learning for transformation learning that changes our way of being in the world. 
It's typically an area of learning in which the dominant schooling culture, which focuses on the acquisition of isolated knowledge and skills, has failed. We must look beyond the school. And we know where we should look. Our research almost 20 years ago has clearly shown that profound transformative learning is primarily conditioned by factors in the informal environment in which people live and operate. The learning we envision is thus not merely defined by the attainment of the kind of knowledge and skills that most schools have in mind, such achievements are no doubt important, but more essential, far more essential, are the values to which we adhere in living our active lives. We must learn to become good ancestors for the generations that come after us. Keywords in that context which describe lives well lived point in our view to such things as resilience, serenity, courage, compassion, enjoyment, respect and responsibility. That's what we are working on with our own modest resources and what we wish to work on together with like-minded others. Thank you.